So we're going to come on now to a set of three core exercises. Obviously, we're dominantly covering all of the back area and the abdominal area. So we're going to take this in a few sets. We're going to do a little bit of a warm up in case you haven't prepared already for this. And we're going to do three of the exercises in a row. We will then take a little bit of a breather and then we'll do it again and then take a breather. And then if you wish to do it for a third time, you can do. I will show the modifications and the alternatives for um, back problems as well, should you wish to join in. So all you're going to need is your mat, maybe a pillow or a block to place underneath the head. And maybe if you need to, a small folded hand towel underneath the lumbar spine area, just to give the back a little bit of support if you need it. So coming to lay on our back supine, we shall start first of all with a little bit of a warm up. So from here, bring the feet together. Take, take a few moments to think about the placement of the shoulders, the abdominals. Okay, so I want you to think about relaxing the shoulders down, not to the point where you feel stiff. Okay, so just gliding the shoulders down the back and place your hands onto the tops of the hips here. Okay. And then I just want you to think about that you've got a small gap underneath the back, so you're not tucked under with the bottom lifted up off the floor. You're gently drawing in the abdominals and then when you're ready just begin to take two or three breaths expanding through the rib cage and then when you're ready just softly open the right leg up gently open and then close keeping those hips really steady imagine that the abdominal area is a swimming pool and the side of your hips are the edges of that pool and then you've got a piece of wood all the way across and you want that piece of wood from one side of the swimming pool to stay nice and even so we don't want a crooked swimming pool we want to be able to keep that plank across the pool very even or you could, you could imagine the hips as two ships with a plank of wood between them as well and you want that plank of wood to stay nice and even and so we're going to open up once more each side, keeping those hips nice and level so we avoid any kind of twisting motion. And then you're going to take the heels and toes apart to take the knees about a fist width distance from each other. Rechecking on that spine alignment, hands on the hips if you like that kind of feedback that's giving you, or just place the hands down beside the hips. Take a deep breath in, raise the right leg up to tabletop. Draw the belt muscle through to the back. Remember, you don't want to pull in the, the abdominal muscles up to 100%. It's just a soft, about 20% effort. And then raise the other leg up to join it. We're going to take the right leg back to the floor, followed by the left leg. Let's take another one on with the right leg leading. If you started with the left leg, it doesn't matter. We're going to do two with a different leg leading each time. Now change legs and let the other leg lead to keep the body and the mind balance. Feel the engagement of that core rib to hip connection, the sliding the ribs down towards the hips. So you're really utilizing those abdominal muscles. And then when you're ready, just slowly, just turn the legs, bring the legs together. And I want you to glide the legs to the left. So you can see that my right foot is hovering off the floor. And I'm leaning on the left side of my left foot. Come back to the centre, breathe in, exhale. You can take the arms a little bit wider if they get in the way. And just rocking from side to side here, feeling a little bit of a stretch maybe through the side of the body or even into the back as well. We're going to take one more each side, moving over from one side to the other. And then when you're ready, come back to centre. Take the heels apart, the toes apart, to have that fist width distance again. Make sure the, the legs are a little bit closer towards the buttocks. Now to begin, we're just gonna take the right leg into the air just to stretch out a little bit through that right set of hamstrings. 
and then bring it back down. Breathe in, exhale and extend the other leg through to the ceiling. Flex the foot if you wish to, and then back down. Breathe in, exhale, extend away. Feel the stretch through, keep the shoulders braced and open. The abdominals braced, core engaged through to the centre of the spine. And then when you're ready, we're going to begin with that little pelvic tilt, slowly working our way up. So if, if you have blood pressure concerns, just tilt a little of the way and then come back down. Avoid going all the way to the top. Breathing in, I'm just going to move the block out of my way because as I curl up, it's going to stretch my neck anyway. So I need to be mindful that I'm not overstretching and bringing my chin right into my chest here. So we need to keep that space there. So breathing and exhale, curling up. Just a tiny little tilt there. It's fine, breathing in, breathing out, working my way up. It's almost like as I curl up, I curl maybe, um, if you were to think of the, the vertebra, say one at a time, you start with the bottom vertebra, you lift that one. Then on the next curl, you lift two vertebra. And then on the next curl, you lift three vertebra and so on. So you're just using the range of motion that you feel, you know, that is good for you today. Some days you'll feel that, do you know, I can really go a lot higher today. And then other days you're like, nah, I'm going to stick with that pelvic tilt. Okay. Breathing in, exhale. So we're just still mobilizing through the body, preparing ourselves for those three core exercises that are coming up. So we're just really getting into the body, making sure it's nice and warm. As you begin to get higher with this bridging, you really need to think about working through the glutes and lifting. You may feel a stretch through the thighs a little bit. So as you lift through that spine, you want to feel like the knees are moving away from you. Okay, from here, let's begin. We're going to raise the right leg up. I'm going to start with the 100 and the other leg up. From here, you can have the knees bent. If you bring them in slightly towards the chest, it's going to soften the load on the back and the abdominal region. If you, the further away you take the legs, even if it's just a centimetre, you start to feel the difference. The other option is, is you can have your legs straight out on a diagonal towards the ceiling if you prefer. The other option is you can keep the head down or as you're working through, you can lift it up or put it down just as we do in class as well. So from here, I'm going to start with my head up. You can always bring the legs back in and bend them and take the head down. If you do start to get tired, remember that. So here we go. Breathe in, exhale, and we puff. Breathe in, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. I'm going to let you count your own set here. We'll probably approximately do around 80 to 100 of these by the time we've finished. So as you're doing this, I'm pumping down the internal rotator cuff muscles with the shoulder and then the external ones as I turn the palms up. Here, here we've got the legs stretched out. You can even slightly turn the legs out if you wish to. And you can imagine that you're gripping those thighs together. If your head starts to get tired, you can slowly, gently lower it back to the mat and just work with the leg straight here. Okay, we're going to get ready to do the last round. Hope you're still with me. Pumping through. And slowly beginning to release. We're going to go straight into the next exercise. Single leg stretch, right leg extended, left leg in. Head down or up. And we switch and breathe out as you switch. Inhale, switch, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. So we inhale here and then we exhale as the leg extends. And then gently bring the legs in and we're going into double leg stretch. So from here, you can keep the legs bent. I'm going to introduce the first layer of this one. The head can come up and you just circle the arms. Breathe in and exhale. 
breathe in and exhale. If you want to keep the head down, you can do. If you want to make it harder, keep the head up. Harder still is to extend the legs out and in, and out, in, out. Keep the belly strong, supporting the back as you move. Two more, keep the head down if it's too much, and then slowly bring the knees in towards the chest and just relax off. So here we're gonna take a little bit of a breather. We're gonna relax through the spine and through the hips. Okay, so let's start by bringing the knees into the chest first. Take a few breaths here. Softening off the back. Breathing wide and full. And then from there, allow the legs to move, to move out here. You can place the hands on the top of the buttocks just to help to stop the hips from pulling on the spine there for a little bit as we open out. Now the hips to release, the breathing to soften and then when you're ready extend the legs out and take a little bit of a stretch here. And we go again, here we go. <laughs> Remember, on the second and then eventually the third time round, you may not be able to do as many reps, okay? So don't worry about it. Um, this is because the, the body needs to build up the energy again to be able to do a lot more. So from here, we take one leg at a time up to tabletop. We find where we want the knees to be, begin to pump. So head down to begin with if you wish to. Okay, pumping five down. And then five with the arms externally rotated. So here are all the other layers with the head up and also with the legs extended. The legs can be slightly turned out and you're gripping those thighs muscles together. You will feel that the neck muscles feel like, oh my God, this is really hard. But it's because those neck muscles are working and the head is extremely heavy, all right? So really grip those thighs, draw the abdominals in. Again, we'll do somewhere probably maybe between 50 to 100, depending on what you feel you can personally do. Remember, head down and knees in if you get tired. There is no harm in progressing in exercise. The more you do things, the more strength you build up, and then eventually you can do more. So it's all about being mindful, especially with the back. Keep the knees bent, knees inwards towards the chest a little bit more. Finishing up now, last round. And then we go into one leg stretch. So we can start with the head down and even so you can bring the legs a little bit higher towards the ceiling and if you feel happy to then you can extend the legs away. And you're just working through leg extensions. And then from here we're going to go into that double leg stretch. So I layered it with both legs bent and then you can circle the arms here. Just circling out and around with the head up. We're going to start to work the upper abdominal muscles more. If you haven't got a lot of space, just like me, I keep hitting the skeleton, just literally do smaller circles and you begin to extend the legs and in. Extend. Even as you extend the legs, if the neck gets tired, just bring the head back towards the floor. Extending away. Good, let's take a couple more if you can. Head up, head down, knees bent. And slowly relax back. Good, okay, let's come on to that back stretch first. Breathing in and exhale so you may decide that you wish to finish it here i'm going to do one more third round okay of this but you can always the idea is is that you can always revisit this and you can always come back to it let's go into our hip stretch yeah you can always come back to it so you build the strength gradually and you aim to do a little bit more and you aim to increase the exercise as far as you feel that you can 
as far as the medically you can as well. So it's being aware of kind of restrictions that we have to work within to keep our body safe. And just allow the breath to open out through those hips. And so let's take a little bit of a full body stretch, easy way. And then we'll come into that last little set. Here we go. So even on this round, you could do this round, but keep it much simpler. You know, if the back is aching, we'll bring the knees in close to the chest. Keep the head down. So I'll layer it again. We're pumping for five. And exhale for five to turn over. So I'm going to let you continue as normal to do your own count. So you pump down for five and then you externally rotate the arms to pump up for five. Okay, so the head is down with the knees bent. We can even have the legs straight as well, extended away from you. You can bring the head up to look over the knees. You can start to take the knees away a little bit to really challenge that core. Remember on the last round, you may not be able to do as much as you did on the first round. Your body may be starting to feel it a little bit more. So gripping those thighs, drawing them together, drawing the abdominals in, lifting and stabilizing through the sh shoulders. So lifting the head and then drawing the shoulders down. Good. And you're just looking kind of between the legs here. Remember that you can put the head down if you need to. We can turn the head to relax the neck muscles. And then from there, we're going to th flow through into the one leg stretch. Here we go. And we extend. Remember, just to remind you, head down again. Shoulders relaxed or head up. You can start to take the leg out more at 45 degrees rather than up towards the ceiling. Really extend that leg away. Try not to keep the leg knee bent. I mean, you can do, we'd simplify the exercise, but I want to also work through those leg muscles. So from there, head down, we can start to work through double leg stretch. So from here, we can start to bring the knees out more, circling the arms, head up, circle out the legs. Let's take five more, breathe out and in. So the head can be down again, remember. You can still extend the legs away. Two more. Keep the breath flowing, avoid holding the breath. One more for love, yes. <laughs> and then release. Oh, bring the knees in towards the chest, release off. And just turn the head from side to side just to soften the neck. And then from there, just allow the hips to release. Relax back. And again, just turn the head and hold it to one side for a while, if you wish to. And then over to the other side. Again, you can always place your hands underneath, drop the buttocks. Just decrease any pulling from the hips and the back. Extend the legs away, we can take a nice full body stretch. more deep breaths here, reaching your way through the body, flex the feet, ankles if you wish to, toes to nose, and then release. Slowly bring the knees in, circle through the hip joints as well, just to soften the hips. And round the other way. And when you're ready, roll over to your side, and then gently make your way up to seated. Hope you enjoyed this session.